And hello everyone. How are we all doing tonight? Tonight will be part two of the Mr. Craven game jam session. Because I enjoyed quite a few games from the first stream of this and I am looking to play even more. Now the question is which game should we start with? I have quite a few. Hi Queen. I had The uh, Secret of Amelia Lynn's Someday, Moth Manor, Scale Transformation, Take Me to a Better Place, Change, and, and uh, Everything is as it should be. Probably could have kept the music on, but you know. Well, since the theme is transformation, I think change would be a good place to start with. So let's do that. We start off with a blank title screen. Give me one second as I get this out of the way and go into Game Catcher. Should be popping up about now. Yep, there we go. Okay, change. This game was made by... I was not quite prepared for this, <laughs> evidently. Uh, Sleepy Skelly. These change not always how you expect them to. And let's begin. Uh, left click to interact, right click to change interaction mode. Okay, red arrow to walk. Eyeball to look at something, click it with that. Hand to interact with something, and mouth to talk with someone. And control plus, control plus Q to quit. That's interesting. I gotta hurry, I woke up way too late. Everybody else must be at the pool already. There is absolutely no sound with this game. I like the one with the unicorn. What about the one with the mic? Stickers. Okay. Fair enough. There's like... No sounds of this game is kind of disturbing me a little. Alright, well, let's go to the next screen. Mom, you promised to wake me up! Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I forgot. Ugh, never mind. I gotta get going now, okay? Where? Alright, you wanted to meet up with your friends. Go on, then. Maybe I will. Alright, uh, bye mom. I suppose that there's... Yeah, I'm not driving the pool isn't that far. Just take your bike. Okay. I'm doing okay. I am playing a game with absolutely no sound right now. Can't watch TV now. Okay. Oh. Literally right outside our house, huh? Uh, hi. Hey. There you are. I was about to go to your house to get you. Okay, I wasn't. <laughs> but I thought about it. Hi, I find out you're here. Come in and get changed and climb up here. I want to jump together. Isn't that dangerous? Nah, that's fun. It's not dangerous if you... Okay, first off, where do we get changed? Jesus! <laughs> Change, a short story. 
I knew things would change. Like we did in our baby zoo, right? Where do we change? Like in front of them? I was supposed to click that. Wait, what? This is weird. Something is definitely off. Hey there. Huh? What? Where? What the heck? Who are you? Me? Oh, they'll be important. Just a new friend. Uh, I was wondering if that... That's okay, I guess. I gotta go now, though, so... Well, bye. Oh, don't worry. I'm coming with you. I can't really tell who's... Yeah. Well, hey, we got a new friend out of it. Is it like a cat? Little demon guy? Mom's gonna be so happy with my, that I got a new friend. It's about to go and wake you. Nah. I was gonna tell her this, so I stayed in bed. But, um, Mom? Do you. Is there something different about me? What do you mean? Uh, just... Can't you see? Just tell me. I have no patience for your guessing game. It's not a guessing game. It's right there. It? <laughs> Rude. Let me just go play outside. But, Mom... No, but outside now. Jeez. You don't seem to enjoy my company. I'm hurt. No, I, it's just, I don't really know you. You know? I'm with you now. That's all you need to know now. Know now. <laughs> Go play, I guess. You know, our main character is very accepting of this fact. But why like this? I wish you would leave. You're getting kind of peppy. <laughs> Sick a round. Fine. Wait, we have a my computer. We don't have any schoolwork this time. Interesting. Wonder if that's gonna play into the plot. I'm sorry, I didn't. Good morning, sweet. Oh, morning. Is that what you meant the other day? What, well, how could you not see this little demon guy on my back? <laughs> demon thing. You can see it too now. Two is spelled with two O's. I'm so glad I thought. We really will need to get you some new clothes now. Is that the first thing under mine? No, it's not a backpack. Don't worry, I already got some of the... Special clothes you need now. Since I already expected this to happen any day. Mom, <laughs> but we better go and tr try some right at the store. Make sure they fit right. I don't want new clothes. I want it gone. <laughs> hey, I'm like right here, dude. No, honey, no, it's all right. This is perfectly normal. You don't have to worry. <laughs> How is this normal? It's so annoying. It's not right. I don't want it. Well, everyone has a go f tr trow it. Don't whine. <laughs> I don't want it. Don't be stupid. <laughs> don't mum me. Go to your room and get dressed. Aren't I already dressed? I don't want it. I don't want to leave to it or the store is going to be packed. I, Mom, go. Fine. Ugh. What? Why me? You're the one who appeared out of nowhere. I did not read what it first said. Now you won't leave me alone. Why am I a dick for... Not wanting you clean to me all day long. And yeah, just hanging out with you. Okay, yeah. Now I don't want it gone. Now I don't want it here either. Right down. No longer going to be friendly now. F 
fine. Hmm, my favorite shirt. Oh yeah? Sure. And how exactly are we both gonna fit in that? I- oh, stupid- hey, I- oh. I can't cover you up at all. No shit, I don't wanna see you all day. What the fuck? I'm saying so you better think of something. It's so warm I can't just wear a hoodie. There is nothing else that would work. So you could either sweat all day or see me the entire time. I hate you. Fine. Hoodie it is, I guess. And I see that. <laughs> we can still see it. Okay. That is not working out at all. Finally. Are you ready? No. Go right back and change. You're not wearing a hoodie in the middle of summer. But mom, I'm fine. This is up for debate. Now go and change. No, what got into you lately? I told you, that thing on my back. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Wear whatever you want, see if I care. Now hurry up, let's go. I hate this, I really do. I'm really confused as to... This is not what I expected. Uh, I just got a message to meet up at the pool. I can't wait to go swimming again. Oh, swimming? Let's go. Uh, you're coming too? Of course, I'm sticking to you, like I said. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yes, right. Swimsuits don't really cover up anything, do they? How about wearing that damn hoodie to the pool? No? Just shut up. Shit. I've been looking forward to this. But I just... I can't. Not in this way. Crimey River. I said shut up. You really had to ruin everything. Hey, you could just ignore me. I can't. Can you just call priest or get a crowbar? <laughs> Honestly. I should really send the guys a message just say I'm not feeling good. Lying. I'm not. You make me feel terrible. Horrible, rather. Forget it. At least the chest still open on my PC. If a snake ate a carrot, it would become a snare it. And that's enough internet for today. <laughs> that's creepy. Can't send shit like this. Hey guys, uh, I'm super sorry I can't come today. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, why? I don't feel so good, sorry. Well, isn't it nice? We get to spend the whole day together. Just us and hours and hours and hours and hours. <laughs> yeah, great. I made an appointment. The doctor is supposed to help with stuff like this. Are you really getting... You, and you are really getting my nerves, sorry. Oh? You think you can get rid of me? Yes. I want you gone. And I will get rid of you. Somehow. I still like the suggestion of a priest or a crowbar. Good morning. I take it that you are Mrs. Smith? Mrs. Smith. Don't you just fluff out that sounds? Trust It's bad enough about you. Uh, yeah, that's me. So what brings you here? Uh, well, I got a problem. Yes, that's what brings most here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was, that was a joke. <laughs> Why? But there is, is this thing, thing. Yeah, you can't really see either, can you? I'm sorry, but no. Uh, it's there, and I want a gun. I don't know why this is happening. Damn, I really don't understand. I just wanted to stop. I don't know what it this it what this is. I can't or how to stop it. Hmm. You seem rather confused. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> it's just a lot. Well, I know you won't like to hear this, but if you're confused, the best co course of action is 
Just, just leave it for now. What? No, wait, stop. I'm confused about why this is happening. I know that I want it gone. All right, please calm down. You might think you might think you want this, but think about it. If you really, if you were to repeat it into regret getting rid of something that makes me makes me feel like shit, we can take a deeper look into it, but not yet. How about you come back in? Let's see, five years. Five years. Yes, if you aren't confused by them, we can take a closer look. But how am I supposed to get less confused if you won't help me? You can just try on your own. But I came to you because I can. I just... Okay, I... Alright. Splint it. Feel free to make an appointment here in five years or later. I don't know what's happening in this game, to be quite honest. Please close the door behind you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Why can't I do anything about it? Okay, that's it. I'm done with this. What now? Nobody's going to help me. I'm going to do it myself. There's always something I can do. There are scissors in the bathroom. I'm supposing that we will be going there. It's probably right outside our door. The door just seems to go wherever they want. Mom is gone. By the way. Oh, there is. Okay. It's really weird whenever it cuts to actual audio. <laughs> oh. There you are. This stupid thing has been the way so much. I could even see myself. With this? Somehow this helped. Somehow this made me see past it. Even if just a little bit. Well, I'm still here, aren't I? Yeah, I can see that. I know I can't get rid of you that easily. But this made the whole thing a bit more bearable. And honestly, if something makes me feel better, I take it. And I'm going to keep finding things to do that. Shut up. You won't get rid of me. Oh. Are you getting scared? Scared I will. Fine, I'll give you this. But what are you gonna do the next? Figure something out. But maybe I actually can. Damn I'm nervous. I go home. No. Don't go home. Oh, I see we changed our hair color. Was that supposed to happen in the previous scene? This might help me understand things. Did not go home, but shut up, this won't help anyway. So that is what you want. <laughs> Don't be such a dick. Maybe it can even make me Make, maybe you can even make some friends. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so we have someone new here today. Don't worry, we don't bite. Hey, no promises. Us. Sent an email, like, if I asked if I could come here. And here I am now. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad you could make it. It's Sarah. Pronouns they, them. Uh, I'm Sarah. <laughs> I kind of forgot I had these meetups. 
socks he him I live close by so I kind of stumbled over this place been coming here for a few months now usually I'm here Fridays since there are more people there oh I see they all have okay but I had no time this Friday so yeah here today hi I'm Sasha she her I found this true friend but he isn't here today I'm what Alex pronouns are he day lame <laughs> we usually just chat about things or play some board games here this is uh, usually kind of stuff one does at meetups they want to discuss a certain topic or need help with something if you're free to either just ask or if you want to discuss it privately we can step outside together yeah we're rather chill here it's just it's just a thing you go to meet people just a little at, at a self-help time thing I can't read <laughs> big one it's okay to bring a topic right now. Bring it bring up a topic right away. I have something I'd like to ask. Yes, of course. Go ahead. Okay, so I had this thing. It just appeared a few years back and and it's been bothering me a lot. I just I can't wear what I want. It make just makes me feel bad. I can't even go swimming because I can't cover it up. Okay, I'm starting to get... Alright. It's always on my mind or my sight. And I just miss swimming or wearing nice things. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It, you do? Yeah, I had it since I was five. It wasn't too bad at first. But after a while, I couldn't stand looking in the mirror. Yes, me too. Really? Yes. Mine uh, had appeared that long ago. Back when I was 19. It hasn't been too bad, but still a pain in the ass. Me too. It's been a while now, and has gotten a lot better. It barely bothers me anymore. But it was a fight to get here. Wow, I didn't know there were others. I knew there were, but I feel, felt like I would never run into anybody else. Yeah, I feel that. I repressed things because nobody around me felt anything like I did. Yes, I even went to a doctor, but he said I should just wait. Hmm. Yes, that must be frustrating, I'm assuming. <laughs> That's what I meant. Taking your time is always important with important things like this. But having someone to talk to during it is definitely the better option. So it's been years passing? Okay. I talked to a lot of people in your situation. If you want, I can give you the details of a doctor that helped most of them. That would be wonderful. I just want to understand this whole thing. Even if I can't do anything about it in the near future. Yes, I like that too. I was already going to a different doctor before I came here. So if you aren't comfortable with this one, I give you I can give you his number. Thank you. Just thank you a lot. Hello, I'm Dr. XXS. You, what, what is going on with the text? <laughs> Alright, let's start then. I, I don't think there's an apostrophe in this font that you're using. I would like to describe your problem to me again. That's so. Uh, I had this thing with me for a few years now. Okay, so there was a passing of time. It's really in the way of almost 
anything I want to do. Hmm. I just... It makes everything about my body feel and look wrong. That can't talk. I honestly miss going swimming so much. Or just sitting at home without a shirt. But no, it always has something to say about it. Uh, I've had a lot of patients who complain there's something similar. Oh, really? Yes, there are quite, quite a lot of people who feel the same. And there are ways we progress from now on. There are ways we can progress from now on. There are different procedures that are possible. It's up to you if and which you want to go through. Unfortunately, the waiting list is rather long. Of course it is. And most insurance will ask for certain added steps to be taken before they cover anything. Fucking insurance, am I right? Yes, sadly, most of it is still rather timely and costly. But some decide not to go through with any of the procedures as well. It all depends on what you want. What if I don't know what I want? Don't worry, that's what I'm here for. Nobody expected to figure it all out by themselves. They can make weekly or bi-weekly appointments. And use them to figure things out together. Oh, that actually sounds great. I was so worried and sorry. It's just nice to finally find some help of it, is all. I'm just glad I finally don't have to try and figure things out myself. And, uh, yeah. I'll have to make an appointment for that. Great. Would you have some time on the... It's not easy. Hey, where are you? Shush. All right. Actually, my favorite show. Stickers aren't so bad after all. Oh, was there dialogue changes every now and then that I miss? Whoops. Sorry, I was like always trying to progress the plot along here and now. It's a long road. Alright, nothing on this screen. That seems to not want to end. Long road that does not seem to want to end. I wish she didn't be so against it all. I'm going now, Mom. Alright, have fun, Laura. It's Alex, Mom. Uh, you know how hard it is for me. I know, Mom. And how much I dislike that name. I know, Mom. I'll be home in a few hours. Bye. I oh hey Alex you finally made it. Thought you would bail on us. <laughs> now this guy's stuck by some. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Oh, hey Alex, hi. Come in. The place is almost empty. We got the whole pool to ourselves. Yeah, one sec. Got to drop off my stuff somewhere. Hurry up before oh. But then I look at myself, jeez, and finally see who I really am. Ah, the, <laughs> the splashing of the pool water at the end scared the shit out of me. That was nice, though. 
overall i like the art of the game although the um sp although the spelling mistakes at times kind of took me a bit out of it i will admit plus the experience though yeah, the one thing I could also recommend after is some music as well, because it just feels a little empty. And yep, Roto is already on top of that. And yeah, there is the uh, Twitter account if you want to follow them. I was actually wondering... How long would it be until we get a game about that subject given the, you know, the feed, the uh, topic of the game jam? And it was nice to, see, like, you know, see it as well. All right. There are a few more games we can try. I'm really interested in what Moth Manor is based on the name. Even though it's crickets, music sounds so good suddenly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's what. That's just my one complaint about the previous game was just like there's just almost a complete lack of sound. It just felt empty. <laughs> All right, Moth Manor by uh, Rosalind House. Let's begin. A week ago, you got a letter. There was no name. There was no name or return address, just a cryptic message inside urging you to go in on it. Go to an address in the middle of nowhere, assuming it was just some kind of scam, you threw it away and went about your day. For days after, you were plagued by vivid nightmares, most centered around an, an abandoned manor at the address you had been given. Eventually, curiosity got the better of you, and for the sake of your... Mental health, you decided you needed to go there for real. After a long drive, you and with barely any sunlight left, you arrive. Oh, okay. Let's see. Examine. Oh, move direction. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait. Staring into the decay matter towering over you. You consider getting back as your car and getting going home, but you clench your fists and start walking down the path that leads north to the front door. Uh, move north. You walk out to the porch steps to the front door, being careful not to catch your foot on the holes in the stairs. The porch itself, which you remember once being covered in plants and other decorations, is completely bare. Except for the tiny doormat on the ground. Salmon doormat. The doormat is worn and frayed and looks like it would fall apart at the slightest touch. The things you can act draft with are in card text, basically. Yeah. Can we use door to open? Or do we, the door is locked. Do you remember that there should be a key? Okay, I'm sorry. Move where I'm at. Okay. Take doormat. You try to lift the doormat, but it tears apart in your hands, revealing a key that was hidden underneath. Use key. But you could probably unlock the front door of it. Okay, I'm sorry. Take key. You pick up the key, brushing out the layers of dirt covering it. It appears to be for the front door. Yep. It's a key. I can't spell. On door. Door unlocks with a loud thud as you turn the key. As you try to pull it out, the key breaks, getting stuck in the lock. He's 
step inside, closing the door behind you. No going back now. The interior of the manor is just as depodated as it was outside. A visible layer of dust cakes the floor, and intricate spiderwebs weave across the ceiling. A dark hallway leads north into the manor, while a rickety staircase leads to the second floor. A door to the west leads to the dining room, while another door to the east leads to the living room. I'm tired, okay? I just got through a bunch of reading in the other game, so... Move north. The hallway is dimly lit. The only light coming from the northern room at the end of the hall. The walls are bare except for a single defaced painting. There are open doors to the east and west, and you can see the foyer to the south. Salmon painting. The painting appears to be of a distant relative of yours, though you've never heard of him before. There are massive cuts all over it, and the plaque underneath that most likely displayed his name has also been defaced. However, the date of birth and death are still visible, 1820 to 1892. That's going to be a key for later, huh? Alright, move, uh... The library. While small, is quite impressive. Multiple bookcases line the walls with comfy chairs near the western and southern doors. You notice one bookcase is missing one of its books. Examine bookcase. I'm assuming that we're going to be finding a book to unlock it. The guy is most like a way to me. Fuck knows who they are. <laughs> the bookcase is filled with books of the occult and urban legends. Many are well worn. We've read from cover to cover many times. There are book full bookcase has one open space between a book and a flat woods monster. Book on a flat woods monster and, and a book on crop circles. Ooh, I meant to say west. No. Move on. So kitchen is a wreck. What used to be beautiful. Beautiful spell for that. I had to do a double take on that. Cabinets and kitchenware have been reduced to a smashed pile of wood and metal. Every surface is covered in layers of dripping crimson blood. The only thing left intact is the table upon which lies a strange corpse. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Hallway is covered in a series of deep claw marks while the summer door has been ripped off its hinges. Salmon corpse. The corpse is humanoid, but it definitely isn't human. The entire body is covered in layers of inky black fur, with massive insectoid wings sprouting from its back. Giant red compound eyes spout from its head, and alongside long feelers that reach to the ground. Instead of hands and feet, its limbs and its sharp, knife-like blades. Hi, Rouse. Look at the dead creature, you're filled with a strange mix of emotions. First comes fury and disgust, but soon comes intrigued, awe, and jealousy. You reach out with a trembling hand to touch his weirdly beautiful fur. As you touch your hand to the creature, a sharp pain shoots from your arm. You sag her back, falling to the floor while screaming in pain. You... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these games. Why are... Why are there so many wild sound effects in these games? You watch in horror as your right arm rips in half, making way for a scythe-like blade that grows from the open wound. As soon as it began, the pain ends. Leaving you with one less hand, but with an unexplainable feeling of this. You have gained the action slash. You don't want to be in the kitchen anymore. There is a terrible aura of sorrow here. You glance east and south. Either room would be better than this. Let's move south. Compared to the rest of the manor, the dining room seems pleasant enough. Then you notice the smell, most likely coming from the rotting half-eaten food on the dining table. Again, on the other side, the room catches your eye, not because of the cabinet itself, but because it is surrounded by the splintered remains of the northern doors of the kitchen. Another doorway leads east to the foyer. Salmon cabinet. 
cabinet is very plain, made of polished wood with windows on the doors. You see something's inside, but it's a bit too dark to tell what. Move east. The interior of the manor is just as... Uh, okay. Uh, you... What would the... You... Staircase? If we get to walk up the stairs, they collapse underneath you. Luckily, you're not hurt, but the stairs aren't usable now. Okay. Let's go to the living room. The living room certainly has seen better days. It's part of the floor seems to have collapsed, creating a massive hole in the floor. There are some wooden boards nearby, seemingly for repairs that never happened. Beside, despite things, you can still reach the library through the northern door or the foyer through the western door. Salmon hole. The hole is. The hole is must be very deep. You can't see the bottom. You can hear the faint sounds of running water emitting from the hole. Give me slash boards. There's not much point in destroying that. <laughs> okay. Examine boards. The boards are old, but they look sturdy enough. With how quickly this place is falling apart, one of these could certainly come in handy. Okay. Take boards. You pick up one of the boards, being careful not to get any splinters. It's heavy, but if another part of the floor collapses, it'll be worth it. Okay, so we can use that for, for the uh, stairs, I'm assuming. Move west. Use board on staircase. Okay. Well, I know we were just in the kitchen, but... Oh no, that was a library. Sorry. Move. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like where to go here. Yeah, so excuse me for a second here. Okay, so actually, Can we take the painting? It's way too big to take with us, okay. The greenhouses could be overrun with a variety of plants. Some are familiar, but many are completely alien to you, the cover of which you don't even know to describe. In the center of the room, several vines have wrapped around each other in a massive ball of plants and forests. You feel deeply uneasy. As if any moment the plants will reach out to block the sovereign doors in the hallway. Salmon vines. The vines are covered in huge red tipped forms that look like they could pierce through your arm. Through the vines, you can see something shiny nestled in the flower pot that they stem from. Can we slash the vines? You lash out the vines for a new weighted limb, slicing them through them like hot butter. You hear a horrible screeching sound, street screeching sound, as the severed vines crawl to the dark corners of the room. But the vine's gone. You can see a golden key on the flower pot they used to inhabit. 
It's in our room by the flower pot with a shiny golden key. Alright, take key. Oh. Take key. Grab the key from the flower pot, put it in your pocket so you can find what it unlocks. Move south. What was to the compares to the rest of the manor? Should be science cabinet. You want to have the cabinet of your quad, tempted to break it open. Instead, you are launched across the room, hitting the wall as glowing blue signals appear over the surface of the cabinet. Someone really wanted to protect whatever this cabinet holds. Okay. Covered a hole, but there's not much point. What's in the hole again? Running water, right? So that's the bookcase. All right. Fine. I figure like where to go here. I'm not really too good at these sex adventure kind of games. Where do I eat?
move hole. <laughs> okay. North would be the hallway, I believe. I should know, I believe I tried that, yeah. That's how I want in. There we go. Okay, key with fits perfectly into the lock, unlocking the cabinet of a satisfying click. Opening the doors, you can see that the object is inside a small red book. Yep. Uh, let's take book. Take the book for the cabinet. Someone's in the lock here for a reason. Uh, move east. Move. North. Movies? Yeah. Use book on um, bookcase. Beside the book is the open slot on the bookcase. You hear the sound of gears turning. The bookcase swings open, revealing a spiral staircase. Salmon staircase. The stairs spirals down to the darkness. You can hear the faint clicking and shuffling sounds coming from wherever it at the bottom. You staircase. Cassidy sat down the stairs, keeping your hand against the wall as the light dwindles. Finally, you arrive at the bottom. You enter the basement, or at least what used to be the basement. Now it's more like a hive. The room's stem artificial lightning it illuminates the dozens of human sized cocoons that hang from the ceiling. Shadows dance at the wall as the cocoons wiggle and squirm. Finally, the man's character adds away and notice the imposing metal door and keypad at the opposite and that lie opposite the stairs back to the library. Salmon door. The door is extremely strong, like something you'd expect to see on the bank vault. If you doubt you'll be able to open it by yourself, it'll, you'll probably have to use a keypad to decide. Okay. Move. Use stairs. Move west. Salmon painting. One eight two one eight nine two. I'm assuming. Okay. One eight two one eight nine two. Keypad contains the numbers one through nine underneath the keypad someone has written. Yep. 
You hear a quiet beep as the metal door beside you slowly swings open. Here's the door. It's up for the door, your foot landing on bare rock instead of the concrete floor of the basement. The door seems to have been hiding a cave entrance. You take a deep breath and walk further in. As you head deeper into the cave, you find your path blocked by a sudden pit in the ground. You don't see an obvious way around it, and you have to find a way across, which we do. Mo use <laughs> board on pit. The board fits perfectly across the gap, but carefully walk across the makeshift bridge to continue deeper into the cave. Eventually, the tunnels open into a large open chamber, an awe inspiring effigy lies in the center of the chamber, surrounded by decorative channels of running water that wind around the room. The chamber itself is lit from above by a hole in the ceiling. Examine effigy. The effigy is of a great creature, reminiscent of the corpse of the kitchen, but even less human. As you stare at the divine beauty, you feel a sharp pain run through your spine. Knowing what is about to occur, you simply fall to your knees and embrace the chamber. Oh, jeez. The pain is immense, but you don't scream. You know that in the end, it will all be worth it. The skin on your back rips apart as massive, elegant wings on fur from your body. You won't realize until later that your remaining human hand has also fallen away, making room for a second bladed appendage. When the pain finally stops, you crawl over to one of the streams of water in the floor. As you see your new reflection for the first time, you begin to weep with joy. You have lost the action use. You have lost the action take. You have gained the action ascend. There's no reason to stay here now in the dark. The light coming from the hole above calls you. I find it may be fun, but you should really have it a destination. <laughs> okay, I thought it would be that easy. Send hole. Just like a flap of your new wings as you soar towards the top of the chamber. It is effortless, as if you've had these wings for your entire life. Finally, you gently float through the hole in the ceiling and land on solid ground. Looking around, you realize you are back in the Mander's living room. The very room has certainly seen better days, for the floor seems to have collapsed, creating a massive hole in the floor. Despite the damage, you can still reach the library. Uh, move west. Ascend staircase? You filled out the staircase, a long glass, arriving at the manor's second floor. The second floor is completely falling apart. There are several holes in the walls and entire sections of the ceiling have collapsed, filling the manor with moonlight. Only one room seems relatively intact, but the door is blocked by a pile of degrees. Let's slash it up. You lash out with both blades, missing your old hands less and less with each siphon strike. When it's like the debris is reduced to a pile of splinters and dust, you step into the last unexplored room of the manor. While the interior walls of the bedroom are intact, the wharf facing outside has completely collapsed. You have a full view of the moon. Let's examine said moon. Oh no. Standing on the bed is another moth person with black fur, huge red eyes, and fluttering purple and red wings. They point one of the debated hands towards the moon. They don't speak, but you understand the message. Let's ascend to the moon. It takes off into the night, flying towards the moon above. It is truly liberating feeling. Cut short by a sudden pain in your eyes. Knowing what's about to happen, you hover in place and raise your final transformation. Your vision divides as your eyes begin splitting into common segments. It takes a moment for your brain to adjust to the new sensory input. But once it does, you see the world in an entirely new way. You realize that you are no longer limited to only seeing what is before you in the present. You can also see what is not yet to come to be. You lost the action examine. You lost the action move. You have gained the action foresee. You return to the bedroom. The mop person from before has been joined by several others, one cradling and warding the corpse from the kitchen. One by one, they gently place the bladed hand on your shoulder, welcoming you as one of their own, before flying off into the night. Eventually, you are alone. 
To remove your clothing, displaying your new what? Dark fur and discarding the last shed of your humanity. You watch your new kin fly into the world beyond. Foresee a world. As you look into the world's future, you are horrified by what you see. You see countless disasters yet to happen, tragedies that may yet be prevented. You felt powerless to make a difference in your old life, but maybe now you can prevent the darker future from coming to pass. You think off after the rest of your kind. There is much work to be done. That was the I love the uh, play on the text adventure formula. Created by Rosalind House, aka Spooky Rosalind. With the Robbie te Testers. TJ, Chris, Dave, Ian, and Gina. Okay, yeah, no, that was neat. Like I said, it was the sound effects that most must have been a bit loud, but that's about it. Yeah, it might have been maybe a slightly too loud. But otherwise, yeah, no complaints at all. Like I said, just a neat little take on the text adventure genre. I don't really have much more to say. I like the game mechanics, I like the story. I like it. Alright, next game. This should be the one that I want. Yep, everything is as it should be. Let me capture that real fast. Actually, that is not what I want to capture. That should be it. Yep. Everything is as it should be by uh, Crossin92. I did play the tutorial. I believe I understand it. So let's begin. Yeah, it's basically like finding things out of place or something like that. Like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I believe I understand it. I did not understand that part though. So what does well attack us? Wait, how do I No. Stay back. Okay, maybe I don't understand it. I can't fight back. Listen, this part was not in the tutorial. Also, this is horrifying. I hate it. Why can't I kill the chair? Okay, fine. We'll restart. I'm very confused. Why can't I kill this chair? Do you not like how quiet it is? Yeah. I'm very confused as to why I can't. This part was not the tutorial. It basically was just about the mechanic of things. being different and just looking for the what was wrong. It was not about I did not go this far into it. Well I do think it's stuck now. Nope, it is not. Oh. Okay.
<laughs> yeah, I know. The timing of it was fun. <laughs> Funny. I legitimately do not know what to do. I will a bit. Alright, the toilet is not an imposter. Well, I ran out of bullets. <laughs> Evidently. By the way, I love how there's just no animation to the to that as well. It just shoots. So what happens if the time runs out? I'm just curious. Will this thing come to life and kill me? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I assumed that was R. Okay. Well, it's uh, dead now. Now what? <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're somewhere else. Man, this bathroom is dark. Well, I did not find it. Or was it because I just really wanted to see something come to life like I did last time? Oh my god, what the fuck? That was amazing. Oh. That killed me way too fast. Did I kill it? Oh, I guess I successfully killed it. Okay. I was standing on it. I didn't expect... I know, but I didn't expect it to just spawn like that. I like how, even though there's some light emanating here, the light bulb is just off. <laughs> I did not like that. Gun. Yep. What is with the light bulbs? What 
Oh my god, that's so cool. The game concept, the concept behind this game is pretty neat, I will say. Okay, I thought it might have been the bathtub because look how fucking giant this is. Based on like how big my character seems to be, like we could fit like 20 of me in there. Cause there was like a flashlight button or something. Oh, I thought I could just move. Okay. I wanted to see what the outside was all about. Guess we can't do that. Is it this single chair in this room? There we go. Now there's two houses. Hey, don't judge. I thought that was an odd place. Oh, it was that, wasn't it? Damn it. Oh, okay. I was standing on the uh, television desk. I was wondering what was going on. Alright, we're ready for it. Oh, it was not that. Oh, I was at the wrong house. <laughs> Excuse me, why are there two houses around here? Is that a bell? No, it was uh, bottles. You know, this is the most weirdest game of prop hunt I've ever played. Now there's just like multiple force. All right, I'm not blowing everything up with grenades. True. All right, we'll just let the monster come through here. All right, we'll let them come through the door. Final showdown on the roof. Can I barely see? Is it even coming up?
Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, damn it. That's bullshit. Also, we're not gonna talk about that noise I just made. So what even was that? That's my question. Oh, it was a sink. Okay, it was this sink right here. Well, that was easy. Thank you so much for playing. Hey, I mean, that was fun. <laughs> uh, pretty fun compared to the tutorial at least. I like the game concept. I would actually like to see it more expanded on, to be quite honest. Like, just have it, like, just be more fleshed out and everything. Even though it, like... Yeah, just add just just add more grenades and we would be fine. <laughs> That's why I say I agree with Roto there. Yeah, that was a cute little game. Also, I will say I did play one game. Um, accidentally play fully by accident I'm actually not even sure where it quite is my downloads now oh well called um, infest it was called and my it was a person's first game it's kind of barren but I would love to see more about its developer though. I just didn't expect the game to be that short as I was trying it out real fast before the stream. And there is another game that is literally a power play. <laughs> but um, let's try another game called uh, Take Me to Better Place. That is also made with Game Maker Studios. Which we played a few games up before. Ever. I'm trying to remember like what some of those were. I believe um like Butterfly Collector and stuff was made on that. Uh to be to better place. Submitted for the Mr. Craven Game Jam famous transformation. It does not have the developer credit in there. It's uh Crease Freaking. Streaking. If only a suicidal girl gets taken to another world and experiences the transformation of a lifetime. So, yeah. Uh, also, warning on that. Let's begin. Hello, friend. Yes, I am talking to you. Me? <laughs> you are my only friend. I know you're not real, but I need to let you know. I'm real. I'm finally moving this world. I'm tired of this reality that we live in. I love the music song. <laughs> There's a more dramatic moment there. Also, I mean, we know there's plenty to look at, but nothing to look up to. Nothing that I do anymore makes me happy. I was distracted by the sky for a second. I didn't realize that the whole thing was moving. I feel as long as I sh that shed over there. That's it, right there. 
There was a time I felt that God abandoned me. It would be now. But there was a time that I felt God abandoned me. Sorry. This is the only time I can finally take control. That is why I decided I need to end it. I just don't see any way forward. There's nothing left for me in this world. Before I go, can you just do one thing for me? Sure, anything. Uh, talk you out of it? Can you give me just one reason to stay? Okay, sure. <laughs> Maybe just for a little longer? Yeah, anything. Please, if you could, would you take me to a better place? Oh, okay. My lamp's light went out. I need to replace the bulb. There should be a replacement in the shed. Okay. Um, how do I... There we go. All right, we'll go find something for you. Oh. Hold on, I, where's the controls for this game? <laughs> Give me one second. Is there like a read me somewhere? I'm just trying to figure out like how it's a good. <sighs> um. What just happened to Bethany? Bethany? Where did you go? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's gone. I, so I just press R. I, I can't believe I got the bad end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting swallowed by her own radio. Truly tragic. <laughs> oh no. I just wanted to know how to inspect it. <laughs> I'll restart the game. <laughs> That's one way for my immersion to be broken immediately. Alright. All right, here we go at the beginning again. <laughs> I can't skip this as far as I can tell, by the way. suck of it again real fast. Bad ending, bad ending achieved. I 
I would have to like click things. All right, maybe we shouldn't inspect thing. We shouldn't expect that radio. I do want the art and the uh this opening by the way, I just want to mention. Like as I said, I didn't even know it's the sky moving because I was too busy reading the text until I saw like some of the one of the dark clouds move past a uh, tiny point on the horizon there. It is very pretty. Anyway, let's uh, try not to break the game this time. Yep. Okay, apparently I do need to click. But I shouldn't click the radio. Take two. Yes. Let's go. We got this, Beth. We can get we can get over to the shed. <laughs> no, we're going to ignore that. Oh wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, this game is gorgeous. Oh, here's the shed. That's not a light bulb. How do we inspect things? Excuse me, game. How do we inspect things? Um, oh, the, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't play this. <laughs> I'm having trouble playing this right now. I think we're going to have to skip this, unfortunately. I can't find the... I can't find a control map for this. And when some of the button prompts completely just erases my character, that's a problem. <laughs> Am I trying to look around real quick? But there's no control list. Is the developer in the Discord? I don't think they are. Okay. I'm sorry, but if I failed you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's go find another game. <laughs>
Just a bit of combat skin got real intense. Also, so maybe what's in disguise to some degree. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, I would still would have liked to play it. But, yeah. It's just sad that I like, came and progressed. There's this weird system with some of these games with how you download them. Also, one of the games I tried downloading and it did not work. Uh, evidently, it was just kind of sad. Like, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, this is an RPG Maker game. Maybe that's why. At least I think it's RPG Maker. Um, the game is uh, not showing up at all. That's great. <laughs> There we go. Should it be showing up? Is it showing up? Game of love. This game is just not showing up. This is what happens when you play <laughs> jam games. It's somehow you you just don't know how some of them just show up like that. music is jamming though, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's also popping up. I can, I'm fix, I'll fix that in a minute. I'm just trying to get this to work. Okay. Got it. gonna be a little bit stretched. Alright, does that sound better? Or should I turn it down up and more? Still a bit loud? Okay. I don't know how loud the game itself is going to be. So, uh, The Secret of Emilia Wins. This game was made by... Uh, Solid Snake. Not quite Snake, but... Close enough. Hey, Dev here with some notes before the game gets started. First, thanks so much to Mr. Craven 
and Judge King for signing up this jam. Second, this game is actually one big demo, not a perfect example of what I had planned on making. Unfortunately, life and struggles of being an adult have a wonderful way of just completely ruining everything, anything nice I ever want to do. I plan on <laughs> the video try being very different mechanically from what I could submit for the jam while having just about the same plot and advancement. Yeah, I know. I agree. <laughs> also, I feel that death. <laughs> I feel that, so I did not worry. Third, all the recourses I used in this project were either default RPG maker, I do not know the Roman numeral, assets, or created by Kaza, Kaza, not. For an actual finished product, I plan on having much more original content, relying on other user created assets as little as possible. Fourth, I would like to take it this again to Edwin Samilius, maybe inspired by my own transformation of life, on to spin, of learning and growing, slowly finding the courage of who we really are, out of the divine little project, feel less lonely in life. I ever started this game to win anything. But instead, I just want one person and feel less alone, I guess, or maybe feel things I thought of in the past, felt in the past that anything to feel ashamed of. That. Fourth, since this isn't a finished product, I'd like to ask that you ignore any aesthetic and mechanical presentation since I plan on completely overhauling this product for the final iteration. Do I know when that will be made? Absolutely not, but ideally, sometime by the end of 2021, to put it through perspective, what I have planned on the finished product being, I basically plan on emulating one of the old school flash and sin point and click for the final product, which is very different than what you're going what you're going to get for the jam. Trigger warnings for internalized transphobia, hints at religious feet, trauma, and suicide. Fantastic. <laughs> Considering the last game. Man, this Stream is getting spicy all of a sudden. Edwin and Elizabeth's house. I was awakened by the sound of an alarm going off. From beside me, I could feel, rather than see, a figure fumble around for the alarm and turn it off in hopes I hadn't woken up yet. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. I was already awake, a light sleeper by nature, and prone to regular slumber as it was. As the figure beside me left the bed, I eagerly stretched out my body and consumed the space that now freed up for me. A quiet chuck <laughs> reached my ears, and then that I couldn't help but respond to with a smile. The bed's not even cold yet, and you're already stealing my spot. You gave it up willingly, as far as I'm concerned, that makes it mine now. I opened my eyes, and the dim light of the room could see my wife, Elizabeth. She stood with her back to me before the closet as she pulled out the clothes she was going to wear. Getting ready for your flight? Yeah. I wish I could stay longer and maybe have breakfast with you, but you know how airports are. A glance at the clock told me it was 3 in the morning. If I remember correctly, Elizabeth's flight was at 7, so leaving by 4 would be in her best interest. Well, it would be nice if we could have breakfast before she left. I knew how important this trip was for her career. Hmm, don't I? Just as much fun as compiling paperwork to sue the pants off some businessman. Hey, this has been in work of progress for the last two and a half months, and technically I'm representing all 47 employees with stolen wages. This guy doesn't need pants. I don't know all the details of her case confidently and all that. Most of what she told me was public knowledge, accusations of underpayment, loss, overtime notes, and the like. Most of it was over my head, but it didn't stop me from latching onto every juicy detail like a teenage girl hearing the latest gossip. Elizabeth finished dressing, disappeared into the bathroom for a moment, she do her hair and makeup, and came back to the bed long enough to kiss me. She then wished me good night and vanished into the early morning. I tried to get back to sleep and maybe manage another hour before my body decided it wanted to be active. Sighing, so I climbed out of bed and decided to get a start on my day. I've actually never played an RPG Maker game, so this is the first for me. Some of Elizabeth's case notes. These are the ones she won't get in trouble if I see. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, hmm. Very interesting. Most of Elizabeth's stuff, some of her rings are highly fashionable and match my shirts well. Most of the things of the bookshelf are mine. I've always want, been more of a material possession person than Elizabeth ever was. 
Those of us call it takes of the majority of the disaster. A lot of painting of the moon against the starry sky. The bathroom door. Go inside. Sir? What is this? Was here not so long, getting ready for the day. I spent. I've seen her spend as much as an hour doing her hair and makeup before, but this morning she was in and out in 20 minutes. She must have skipped her premiere and contrary and jump straight to foundation. Got to think of it. I think she only used eyeliner and basic eyeshadow too. I glanced around the countertop and my eyes fell on her too with lipstick, a modest pink. It's a wonderful color that goes well with some of her favorite outfits that complements her skin tone. I'm finally able to lift my eyes high enough off the counter to gaze at my vacant expression in the mirror. My beard was growing in again, stubble showing up of vengeance. I sighed, wanting to be rid of it and not having the motivation this early in the morning to do anything about it. Elizabeth always told me how handsome I looked with a few days worth of stubble and lots of rubber cheeks. I guess that whenever she gets a chance. Usually I love hearing her giggle and fawn over me, but every time she rubs against my stubble, I just feel bad. A voice snaps out of my thoughts and I spin around with a cold feeling in the pit in my stomach. Not now, it's been almost a month. What are you doing here? Get out! Standing behind me with her ta hands behind her back was a sickly looking woman. She looked at me with a sad smile and empty eyes. Her hair and dress were plain and she was pretty I think. Not in the conventional sense but the type of woman who with a little freedom and confidence would certainly turn a head or two. You can't be here. Not my house. Not ever. You don't belong here. You don't belong anywhere. Her face fell and if possible her eyes looked even sadder. I thought we were moving past this. Moving past this? I'm sorry. What exactly is there to move past? The way you treat me. It's not right. We were making so much progress. I turned away from her. I was not dealing with this. Not now. Moving past things. You could possibly hide. You could probably hide it. Your stubble. You and Elizabeth have just about the same skin tone. I bet her foundation would. I hissed. Cutting her off. No, we're not go going through this again. She went silent, and then I splashed water on my face before I dared to turn around. She was gone, thankfully, and I left the bathroom without a second glance at the mirror. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, any word on that? Nope. Just a <laughs> the moo penny is the only one. Do you ever get a comment? I'm done here, right? Sure. Yeah, gotta get heading out soon. Even though this is my first RPG Maker game ever, like, I just. It just feels familiar somehow. Full dinnerware. Surprisingly, Elizabeth is a much of a chef. Not that I mind, I find the whole cooking process very relaxing. Clean and free dishes, just like Elizabeth likes it. The faint smell of last night's dinner lingers on the oven. Full of dinnerware. Okay. Gardening is a shared hobby of ours. While Elizabeth goes out every year filling the garden of all sorts of flowers, I'm a much more simple person when it comes to taste and dedication. Most of my plants are perennials and little maintenance, while Elizabeth shells out money each year for annuals. Or busy maker as a style. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> Our combined work normally leaves our backyard buzzing with all sorts of activity, including all the birds and the bees. Oh, <laughs> okay. I could just slide on the couch. <laughs> Ready to head to the top? Yeah, sure. Why not? Designs by Winds. I've run this place for about five years now with decent success. I won't trick myself into thinking I'm pulling the big bucks of running a hole in the wall a place like this, but it's alright, I suppose. Elizabeth is more than happy to be the breadwinner if it means I can pursue my passions. The majority of my inventory is actually directly direct from name brand distributors. Only a third custom by me. The items are, that are mine are displayed on the windows over on the mannequins with some other accessory items being kept near the register to customers to see as they check out. A few items in the past I've done collaborations with some bigger names in the industry, but I think each setting your own pace 
and deciding what to focus on. Nothing beats setting your own page. Okay. That was a typo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most of the people around here come to me with custom requests I can crank out in a month or two. And in the downtime, I'm free to do whatever I want. The shop looks a little bigger on the inside. While I'm open, I'll have anywhere from 20 to 30 customers inside at a time. Most of the time, it's women who amble about the who amble about the store. Is amble the word? Occasionally, bring a boyfriend or a husband along. Well, I do have a section that caters to men. I've never put as much effort to menswear as I do my dresses. Give me one second. My throat is just dry from talking so much the stream. I gone through two games of just doing nothing but reading. Including the other game. That we didn't get a chance to play, but also while I was reading. How dare you drink when hydrated you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> That's illegal? No. Setting just upstairs in my office are multiple books with designs I've tried to make that all end up looking at a bland attempt at high end fashion. Yeah, this is right here. I tried to bring out some of my passion for dresses to men's designs, but something is always lost in translation. As I walk through the empty store long before we're due to open for the day, my footsteps echo on the floor. It keep my eyes lower, trying not to look at the arrangement of vibrant dresses, shawls, scarves, and hats to assault my vision. Some of the ones I, that I made personally catch my eye, and that brief flash of a color or pattern is enough to bring back the memory of its creation. Soft material running against my fingertips, needle and thread easily piercing between the strands that have been woven tightly to create something that will be displayed like a trophy. I couldn't hear the pull of the zipper as I reached behind me and I nearly walked into one of those places I'm so lost in thought as as much <laughs> needed a break from the nonsense in my head and I immensely cursed myself for falling so deep. No, I'm not going to think about that. Not at all. It was a one time thing. It doesn't change anything. It didn't mean anything. It was your favorite color. There she was again, that woman, that monster. The freak. Why didn't she just disappear already? Aren't you going to leave me alone? I don't need you here. I'm trying to work. The shop has opened for hours. So? I can finish off a couple of sketches, work on Marcy's order. Besides, the girls will be here soon and we can start doing the morning conditioning. Now I have to work with you. You understand them. Make them feel comfortable. So, I'm their boss. It's my job to make my employees happy and comfortable. You're so happy when they treat you the same as they treat any other woman. And then a sponsor. Here. I really don't need this. Not now. Not ever. We offer a wrapping service in case anyone is getting one of my products as a gift. As an added bonus, all the proceeds from the gift wrapping go to a local charity. Oh, that's nice. This was a fun part. I used to do more with ribbon like this. What's over here? Sword accessories. Well, you've been making more hats and scarves. The boy and a girl has a good option of accessories. Fair enough. Balls of fabric. I use most of these in my own work, actually. Sword of trinkets. I just finished this one a couple days ago. I hope it sells soon. This is one of the most complex pieces I've done in a long time. I spent almost two whole months on this one dress. Some high-end jewelry. I'm a size 9. I was inspired by Eastern Fashion for this one. One of the name brand items I carry. Gotcha. Mystery boxes. Occasionally I have items that don't sell. I'll just throw into one of these after a while. People are willing to gamble for $10 or less. And at least this way, the product is a complete loss. Gotcha. One of the name brand city items are Gary. One of the, oh, okay. 
Yep, yep, yep. Ready to help? Sure. That noise scared the shit out of me every time. Evan's office. My home away from home. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this place. On one hand, I can get a lot of work done here. On the other hand, she's quiet for once. Busy looking through my design book. I don't know which ones are her favorites, which ones she'd never wear, which ones she wants to redesign. She stops when she gets to the pages that it gives my magnum opus and slowly trails her fingers along the lines of each alteration. It doesn't mean anything. Some of these are years old. When did you first start drawing them? I honestly couldn't remember when I first started drawing the dress. Couldn't remember why. I hadn't even looked at it in years. However, I could still remember it as if I had just looked at it yesterday. I remember all the times I had restarted the sketches. Who did I see in that dress? Elizabeth? Some girl from school? A nameless face from the television? I looked at the woman's face, lost in wistful concentration as her eyes settled on the most recent sketch of the dress. Her face was gently shaped like by rose and glasses during moments like this, eerie in how beautiful she could look despite the sick feeling she provoked in me. It would be fun to wear someday. The words sweats were wept unwanted by me. It didn't dwell on what she said. Well, I tried not to anyway. I hated how... I, I hated how I hated. It wasn't right. She wasn't right. She shouldn't be in my head all the time. She wasn't real. Couldn't be real. Because if she was real, then that would mean I was a freak. I don't know who was hurt more by that simple word. And honestly, I didn't care. I took a moment to clear my head. And the woman was gone when my eyes swept the office again. Good. Marcy's commission. I love working with Suede. Try and get some work done? Sure. Why not? Um, that's very good, man. That's supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? We have 30 different books on design. Color, Fury, Fashion, History, and some scrapbooks. I put together from shows I've attended in the past. Almost hidden is my old high school yearbook. Tucked in the front cover is a picture that was taken at my 10 year reunion. Funny Elizabeth came along with me. It was actually a second day art. Her idea too. She had a beautiful all night in her dress and I was miserable with some stuffy suit jacket I had picked up from the store earlier that day. I still don't know. Can't examine the mirror, which is interesting. I would consider myself my father's son, but those are s there are certainly similarities between us. He said that the men of our family are supposed to lead important, busy lives. I have a small resting area set in my office, and while I certainly spent my fair share a night sleeping on one of those one of these couches, I'd rather be home whenever possible. I guess I don't. I guess there's a handful of traits I don't share with the men in my family. I'm not. Um. And looks like I am stuck. What? Oh no. Please don't tell me another game just broke. Please. Why am I having so many issues with these games tonight? <laughs> this is funny, actually. Well, as a reminder that these are game jam submissions. That's a uh, one way to be reminded of that. I just feel sad, you know. I mean, that, that was a lot of games, so I don't know if I want to retry this again.
Dan? Oh, are you are you talking to Roto? Okay. Man. I know, I know. I just feel bad. Knew what was going on. Um, the game just... It didn't crash, but I was stuck. <laughs> like, the game just stopped letting me move and interact with things. Again, as a reminder, these are game jam games, so... You know, things like that are bound to happen. This is sad whenever it does. These are all things to bring up as nice after. I know, I know. We could give it another big. We could give it another try and just skip most of the uh, dialogue and such. Oh, hold up. Although there is this huge opening in the beginning. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give it another try, real fast. I'll just skip all the dialogue up to this point. Although the scrolling text is going to get in the way. <laughs> but at least I want to try again. I still don't know what to use, what to do with the other game, however. That I will certainly bring up. I just don't, just gotta find a way to contact the dev. That's all. I clicked off for a second because I was just looking for the dev in the Discord. I unfortunately do not see them. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that the uh, the text was. I'm sorry. I did. I did not realize that the text was stopping anytime I clicked off. My bad. You guys should have told me. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's okay. I'll forgive you this time. I could always play like AO Oni or the Crooked Man. I think the Crooked Man is RPG Maker, isn't it? Some of the classic RPG Maker horror games that used to be big like almost 10 years ago. <laughs> also, yeah, uh, just for a quick. Recap, um, internalized transphobia hints at religious trauma and suicide. We've seen the internalized transphobia between Edmund and Amelia. At least I'm pretty sure it's Amelia. I think it was said before, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm just gonna skip for the dialogue real quick. Since we already went through all this. Just to get back to where we were. I still love the physically just walking into like that. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're back.
So we head up top of being quiet. Try think about wearing that dress that we're working on. I still don't know what getting to work done means exactly. I'm gonna avoid going to that area for now. Hopefully it's not actually thinking that would do me good. I'll sleep for like an hour then work on Marcy's coat until Janice and Taylor get in. Okay. Yeah, nap is what I need. I retire to one of the small love seats closer to my workstation. Typically reserved for when I'm working with multiple clients, the soft lever makes a good napping spot in the pinch. Surprisingly, I'm able to dread off a counting sheep. <laughs> Shout out to the church. My dream. My dream takes me no place I want. I had wanted to visit again. Forgive me, Father, for I have. I. Perhaps it is ironic that I realized I was in such. I was in such an abomination in the house of God. It was the first time I had met her, though it would be years still before I realized who she was. But then we went to a church every week and always said our prayers at dinner. Even said them before bed, too. It was around Christmas time when we first met. We were doing our yearly plan celebrating the birth of Christ and the three wise men who brought him gifts. Candace was always the Virgin Mary, but this year, for some reason, she didn't want to do it. When our Sunday school teacher asked who would like to take her place, one of the other girls thought it would be funny to call out and say I should be Mary. I remember being annoyed I wanted to be one of the wise men, bringing gifts. Somehow I ended up being cast as Mary. Oh no. That, that was when I started? That was when it started? No, I think it was before that. Before I wondered if I had... I remember my thoughts exactly. I thought, oh, I can try makeup now I bet I say oh no more of like I'm kind of fearing of what the other students might think of that not like oh no you know what I mean this is something that's not great yeah you had to watch your mom and sister do it yeah and mom was pissed because I tried to use the new lipstick she had bought and broke it that one time so you had already wanted to see. I, what girl doesn't want to look pretty sometimes? I spent nights crying myself to sleep after the play was over. I was confused all by dressing up and putting on makeup too. My sister got a dress for Christmas that year with snails all over it. They were big and cartoon-like, perched on mossy rocks. It fit me perfectly when I changed into it while sorting laundry. Mom thought it was hilarious. Who wouldn't? Seeing a little boy playing dress up with his sister's clothes. We never talked about it after that day. My mom told dad when he got home. We all laughed about it at the dinner table. Later that night, I, I realized just how much I wanted to hear, wanted to wear another dress. I also wanted to hear another dress. I think that would be a little, a little hard. <laughs> and the same thing would happen. It wasn't just a dress, was it? You wanted, I wanted. I wanted to be. It doesn't matter what I wanted when I was a kid. The world doesn't work like that, and I know better now. But why? Why can it be that way? What's stopping you? Why are you so afraid? I'm not afraid. Look, I was just a confused kid, alright? I can't just snap my fingers and magically be a girl, alright? It's I'm nothing like you. What? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, exactly. Shit, okay, um, this is not good. Edwin, we need to leave. Do you remember the spice, correct? Uh, yeah, I say. <laughs> no, really like, where the fuck do I go right now? <laughs> there was an entrance to the old catacombs here somewhere. What is that, by the way? I see, like, something on the bottom. They're almost a century old, so only the fathers want to go in them. Well, Edwin, if you wish to confess to him later, you can. Until then, it is our best interest to flee. Right. Ah, uh, fuck. I oh, found it. Gotta get out of here. I think there's more of those things through the windows. What were those things? Church catacombs. I've never been here before. I'm sure that here is better than up there with those monsters. Maybe. 
That's what they figure out how to get out of here. Keep calm, Edwin. That has should help keep them back for a while, so if we have time. Maybe there's a pathway that leads above ground somewhere. Yeah, you're right. There should be one somewhere. I remember that much from when I was a kid. A broken barrel. Okay. A beautiful dress, just your size. I've ever had it was if it was the first time I used my own head for size. <clears throat> Sorry. You looked cute in your reflection when you modeled it. <laughs> A woman's coat. Aren't you in autumn? Aren't you in autumn? Yeah. Beautiful hat. Tattered hat. A little plain, but with a hat. It's got to look nice in it. The, the hat with the butterfly pin, I think. When I was 17, I had to go to the emergency room for stitches. I never told my parents the truth about how I broke the mirror, telling them I knocked down cleaning was a lot easier than the truth. Doctor saw through my lie the second I told him. He pressed me for the truth, but I didn't know what to say. That I hated how my face looked so bad, I'd rather have a messed up hand than deal with it. <laughs> Fair. I wanted to think about how he's. about how long he's been down here. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a skeleton. Damn, I'm not getting free here. Looks pretty weak, though. Maybe I could freak it. But could we use a break of wind then, that one? Let's find out. Elizabeth was always complimenting your design. She said you had a better sense of fashion than most girls you knew. She said she... She said she almost wished I was a girl so we could wear matching dresses. And? And I was close to breaking down and telling her that day. You'll get there. Don't worry. I want to inspect the flower. I guess not. Broken box, okay. What the hell? Why would this be here? This doesn't make sense. This house, this stuff looks new. Why would new housewares be? What would new housewares be doing in the underground catacomb? Remember the one night dinner your mother talked about that woman who came out as a man? He never said anything mean about them. I bet she would have been supportive of you. Yeah, right. Just because someone looks like a bunch of lesbians doesn't mean they're a dude. Jesus Christ. That was the first time you heard the word, wasn't it? And the next day at school before class. I signed into an incognito window at the library and looked it up. It answered a lot of questions. Gave me some, too. Fancy China. Wiggs kitchen net looks like mom's. Yeah. So, this is a dream. So, uh, it was only a couple months after I got my own place. Always had baggy eyes and a scraggly face. The guy at the liquor store never bothered to card me. I'm pretty sure I, I remember the neighbor calling the squad on me that night. I must have had way too much drink. I got home, all my papers are right where I left them, including I read a letter to myself. Maybe she had written a letter to me. It was full of so much pain, suffering, loss. Neither of us were happy living like that. I, she, I picked a name. Broken bottle of cinnamon whiskey. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh wait, there's a run button in this? Okay, I did not know that. That changes everything. Hey, wasn't this blocked off earlier? I think this is the best time to question good fortune, Edwin. No, you're right. Damn it, dead end. Of course. There has to be something I missed. I can go back. I can. No, it's hopeless. No, it isn't. You kept this hidden for so long. You can't keep going like this. 
Evan, please. Shut up. That's not my fucking name. I'm... I'm... My name is... Damn it. Damn it, no, not now. I'm blocked in. What do I do? Don't just stand there. Help me. I do like how we never actually see her, by the way. Please, they're getting closer. I've been trying to help you. Your whole life, I've been trying to help you live your best life. I know you're scared, and I know you think that something's wrong or different. Please, trust me. The girl you dreamed about your whole life, she can finally live. Amelia. I, my name is Amelia. Amelia. Hey, trust me. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I'm almost sad to see what happens if I press no. I, it's time, isn't it? You think it would be mad if I borrow her eyes shadow while she's gone? <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure she can help you with your winged eyes shadow. Yeah, I'm probably not going to that. <laughs> Will you? Yes? I'm so proud of you. I had a lot of work to do before the girls get in. I knew I wouldn't have enough time to finish anything, but that didn't stop me from opening up a sketchbook and getting to work. I had the basic line, art, uh, line work of the dress and was beginning to realize, finalize my vision of the cut when I heard them get in. Showing them my sketches made me feel happier than I had in years. It was as if some sort of weight was lifted off my chest. I thought it would be tough to explain to them what I had been going through, but surprisingly it wasn't. There was some confusion at first, apparently they had no idea. Once I told them, however, they just accepted it, cheered for me, congratulated me. It felt better than I could have imagined. When I told Elizabeth, she responded in much the same way. Confusion, not understanding, then it started to sink in. For a brief moment, I thought coming out to her was going to be the end of our relationship. But, I misjudged my wife. Okay, so we're going to have to get your closet sorted out then. Considering you're a fashion designer, you do not have any clothes worthy of my beautiful wife. Wife? I'm... <laughs> I have your wife now, aren't I? Well, we are married. Yeah, she has a point. <laughs> yeah, we we are. And I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. This is a beautiful- Jesus Christ, the music! <laughs> Vega wins. Created in just a little under 15 days for the Mr. Craven Transformation Game Chan. Tile says, use created by cause that cause that net. Software D. Yep. I am really out of practice making games, so I hope this wasn't a completely unplayable mess. Had one major bug, but we got past it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to communicate that. I'm going to repeat this Friday Sunday, ideally by the end of the year, like I mentioned earlier. Gotcha. I hope I get this. I hope I got the message across right, and that at least made enough sense. It did to me. Don't you worry. I've had enough dumb gender hell struggles over the years, and really with someone I had to hand me and instructed me all back when I was a kid. Ideally, at least one person finds this and feels something akin to hope if some everything goes according to. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I rambled enough to learn. I think I said most of this before the game even started. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm saying. Sorry if I offend you. I realize that not everyone's experience and journey with their gender is the same. During my own journey of self-discovery, I had some less than polite ways of seeing myself. Some of the struggles that present to me was in terms of our identity, especially since we possess a strong upbringing that might have affected her views. Anyway, I really beat it now. I'm done rambling. Gee, we're not done rambling. Okay, since he beat it this far. <laughs> so great, thanks for being a cool YouTuber and everything you do for the indie community. And also, I love your dog. Listen, 
I'm not Mr. Craven, but I will agree. I will die for that dog. I will travel through it sewer system to save that dog. Thanks much for playing. Advanced text to return to the title screen. And we're not going to do that because I don't want my ears to blast again. To be rather blunt about it. But it was nice that we finally got to the ending after that small hurdle. Again, I wasn't realizing that this was going to be... <laughs> that this dream was going to go through this much hurdles, but hey, we at least made up... We at least completed the game, right? And uh, thank you for making this one. Give me one second, folks. I'm going to try something one more time for a game. Just to try to get it. Working real fast. Not, nah, I'm just gonna say that I struggle a bit to the dead themselves. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Okay. I'll just mention that to that dev real quick that I couldn't download it in time for the stream because of that. That's all. One thing I'd love to try again, though, is this game. Because I really enjoyed playing this game last time, and I would like to try it again. Real fast. Wait, we can continue? Oh, we can! This game saves! Sweet! Although I think I forgot the controls of it real fast, so... Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, just give me a... Give me, like, a... Yeah, I forgot the controls. Shit. Uh, this, this is bad. All the girls are being taken. <laughs> I, I can't figure out how to use a flashlight. Okay, um, let's quit. I want to quit. Game, please. Okay, well, let's just get eaten real fast. Since the, <laughs> since the quit button won't work. Alright, let's just give it a second. Just remember the controls. Okay, it's it was X. Alright. Now let's restart the game because apparently the quit button doesn't work. It is probably faster. Okay. Um, is the game showing up? Yeah, it is. Okay. On my screen it wasn't. My bad. Make sure I'm clicking inside the game just in case. Um, excuse me. 
What? What what is happening to the cultists? No. Go. Yeah, I really liked this game last time we played. So I just wanted to try it again. And see if we can actually complete it. There we go. Uh, unhand that little girl, please. There we go. We're doing good so far. These cultists need to get a life. Get a hobby, guys. There we go. Oh, the girl on the bottom. Shit. Okay, never mind. We can rescue her very easily there. Okay. Well, one of the girls just got kidnapped. <laughs> and that's kind of bad. I mean, it was between, like, literally dying or sacrificing one of the children, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. Had to be done. I think we're almost done with this game, so that's why I wanted to try it. Um, I am using... is it E? I apparently can't... wait... did it just say this is not a game anymore? I think it did. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, that's, that's a sick beat. Damn it! <laughs> oh, it was Z. Okay, it was Z. My bad. Let's actually just be right here. And there's literally just one house to defend and this should be easy, right? Ideally. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember. Just boy them out of games at his house. Oh no. They're trying so hard. Bullshit. <gasps> no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Wait, I won? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I got. I guess I died right as it shifted to 6 a.m. during that cutscene. <laughs> Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I worked so hard! Oh. And I became one of them. Another failure. Well, shit. That was neat though. This game was very neat. I'm glad that we were able to complete it. This music though. Difficult and then in tragedy. Yeah. So all the other ones were fit were other filled uh, watchmen like me. The locals tried to move out, but it was too late. Kurababa was taken by the cult. Kurababa? Kurababa, sorry. June 11, 1994. The cult had burned down the Salazar house. Months later, they built a church in this place. TV continued. Ooh, this game is still ongoing. Neat. Has, this escalated quickly indeed. Yeah, no, this game was awesome. As soon as a continuation gets put out, I will definitely be continuing this. For certain. I mean, if the other games that are put out as well, I'll also play them as well, but I think this one might be my favorite out of the GM. To be rather honest. And that's really tough because some of these games in this game have been really good as well. But I think this one just piques my interest most. It's just it was just executed so nicely. I'm just looking through real quick. I'm sorry. 
Besides, this menu music, menu music is pretty nice, so. I do think that that will probably be endings here, however. As a matter of fact. It's good that we at least played most of the games, though. So. Maybe I can return to some of the other ones at some point. But I do think that this will be it. And this will also be the end of the stream as well. I'm gonna see about the other games that we haven't got around to because a lot of them were because of the games just not running correctly. And I would love to play them at some point, like after. Like probably like way after the stream concluded and everything. But for now, I'm going to be sending the raid back over to my cousin again. It is his birthday, so feel free to... Well, actually, let me put it this way. It's not only his birthday, but he is also looking to get to... Um, affiliate. And he is only six followers away from that, last time I checked. So if you want, feel free to give him a follow. Make his birthday wish come true and say happy birthday. And until then, I'll see you next time. Next time, maybe being tomorrow, we'll see how I feel after work. Thank you everyone for joining in and have a good evening.
All right.